Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to paint step by step this beautiful little serene Venice painting. Hi, I'm Isabella and welcome to Bella's Art Studio. So this is going to be a tutorial based video and a lot of people have been asking how I use the spatula knife in my painting. So I thought I'll start with a simple painting, which uh, I, I think it's kind of simple, but I tried to keep it as plain as possible. And through this painting, you'll see exactly how I use the spatula knife. I just spent like a long time starting and finished the entire, entire tutorial and realized that the camera was not even recording like every youtuber's worst nightmare that's that's what i just did so we have raw sienna burnt umber burnt sienna venetian red and deep rose matter you don't have to get exactly these paint colors like even if you just go like a pink or red for the flowers and a yellowish a yellowish color like this and a brown then you should be fine and of course we're gonna need white and black we're gonna need probably two sponges a spray bottle one that works hopefully and spatula like this can be bigger smaller doesn't really matter and two brushes like a medium and a small So what I've just done is sprayed the canvas over with a little bit of water, not too much because then you might have problems with the paint sticking. What I'm going to do is get some white and the, was it raw sienna, I can't remember, and start by doing a line down the middle of the canvas. So what we're going to do is we're going to do light in the middle, medium, and blending into dark. So for the medium color, I'm gonna grab some white, raw sienna and burnt umber. You're gonna need a lot of paint for this style. And I'm just going to grab the white and streak it down the middle like that. Try to make it as straight as you can. Mean straight lines and not friends. I'm going to start doing the canals of Venice. So I'm going to get that medium colour. The white is in the middle, that's the furthest away. We're getting a mid-tone. I've used burnt umber and raw sienna to make this mid-color. And I'm just gonna pull it all the way down. And now we're gonna make a darker color. So we get raw sienna, burnt umber, Put it over here. This is where our dark color was before. So applying it really thickly and just pulling it all the way down. If 
from here we're going to add in some interest so some unique things that we find in Venice are its railings and also its windows and window ledges I'm gonna come here with the dark brown mix it with a bit of white and then come with the corner of the spatula and we're gonna pop in windows I'm gonna clean the spatula and we want to go back to light now so we're going to create that light color with the raw sienna and we're just gonna do some window ledges so add some white in barely mix it we're just gonna do a window ledge here and down here as well We're going to dab in some roses. We're just going to do some in the distance here. I'm just going to go in and add some white into it. Okay, so what you want to do from this point is add in about halfway. This is where the water's going to start. And then we'll cut off another building there, another building here. And we're just going to put some interest and drag it across. Just like that, make it a little abstract. If you don't like something, just buff it out with your finger. When you're doing abstract, sometimes it comes out good, sometimes it doesn't. So you can't really worry too much about it. That's the beauty of doing an abstract painting. You can just be like, well, yeah, this looks like pretty terrible, but it was meant to be like that. I'm gonna do the boat just here. So I'm just working the boat, figuring where I want it where it's going to end add some white in there I want it to have a bit more definition maybe if I use the spatula it'll give me a nice effect I want to add a couple in it and this is going to be two people so we'll put one head here and then the other head leaning in mix the burnt sienna with a bit of the raw sienna and that's going to be your quick skin tone
Okay, so I'm gonna call that done. I'm pretty happy with how that came up. This piece of cotton canvas can now be framed and hung. So let me know how you go and if you did like it and want to do more, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. If you've followed this tutorial, be sure to head over to Facebook and join the private group. It's called Bella's Art Studio Artists Only and be sure to post your final product on there. I would love to see it.